Today we're going to install the BlackBerry Simulator. We're going to use VMware Fusion to host the simulator. To do so, start VMware Fusion and then drag the virtual machine image that we've downloaded from BlackBerry.com to the virtual machine library list. Once in the list, you can double click the instance in the list to start the, the simulator. VMware is going to launch and it's going to take the ISO image and start running that image. Give it a few minutes to start up. This may take a few minutes the first time, but on subsequent launching, it should take a little bit less time. Be patient, and all of a sudden, the next thing you know, your BlackBerry simulator will be launched. Here we can see the desktop of our running simulator. Now we're going to configure Ripple. Within Ripple, click on the Build section. Under Settings, we're going to put the SDK path where we installed our SDK. We're going to put our project root path, which includes our home directory, so users pmullins in this case for me, and Ripple sites, which is the folder we created earlier, Hello World being the project name of our project today. And then our archive name is just going to be our application name, so in this case, Hello World. And our output folder, which is again off my home directory, so users pmullins, Ripple sites, and I've got a packaged folder under Ripple sites. Next, we need to configure the simulator. We've already have the target selected as simulator. Next, we need to determine the device IP. To get that, we open up VMware, and the bottom right-hand corner of our VMware image, you'll notice the device IP. In this case, 192.168.218.128. We take that number, we put it in the device IP field, at which point in time we should be able to package and launch. In my case, I've set a device password. You don't have to have a device password set for yours, but in my case, I have one. By default, you can leave this blank. Next, ensure that the build services are enabled by hitting Start Services, and then click Package and Launch. You'll notice the progress indicator on the right-hand side. Once the application is built, you'll see a Build Successful box come up. You can X out of that, launch your simulator, and you'll see that Hello World has been launched. By using your mouse, you can drag up from the bottom of the bezel to minimize the application. Press the X to stop the running application, in this case, Hello World. You'll see a Hello World icon on the desktop. Click it, and you'll see the application launch. Congratulations, you've successfully built and launched your first application on your BlackBerry simulator.